I love speedrunning, but one thing I really want to see from the speedrunning community is game development. I'm not sure how that would look like, but instead of daydreaming about what it would look like, let's make it happen right now. Let's go! I'm gonna speedrun triangle any percent. Creating a video game can take many years. I don't know about you, but I wouldn't want to watch a speedrun that is 10,000 hours long. So let's aim a bit lower than that. You have now created Flappy Bird. Congratulations. Maybe we should make a clone of Snake? This guy did it. Eh, nah. Something I've never seen anyone do is to speedrun the Hello World equivalent of a graphics program, drawing a triangle to the screen. How hard could that be? Well, you go ahead and take a look on the OpenGL or DirectX API and come back and tell me that looks easy. The reason I wanted to do this speedrun is that I recently started learning more about graphics programming, creating my voxel game without a game engine. The amount of tutorials I've gone through to learn the basics of graphics programming is a lot. Turns out drawing a triangle to the screen, you need a lot of knowledge. And the only way to learn that is through repetition, repetition, repetition. I wanna speed on making a triangle to really solidify my current knowledge. This is not just for fun, but it, it is kind of fun. But without further ado, let's get into the triangle speedrun. We need some rules. And since I've never seen anyone do this before, I can make up the rules on my own. Okay, you gotta have a cat, you gotta do it upside down, and you, you gotta do it uh, backwards. Now really, here are the rules I thought would make sense. The goal is to get a triangle on the screen. You should have a window you can resize and the triangle should stretch with the window. The background should be white and the triangle should be red, green, blue. The position of the triangle's vertices should be percentage based. For example, the upper vertex position is in the middle of the screen, so that is 50% on the x-axis and 25% on the y-axis if you go from the upper side. Coordinate systems can get a bit tricky, but it should look something like this. Okay, good. Category-wise, I'm not sure. There are thousands of programming languages and thousands of graphic APIs. I guess any percent would entail any programming language or any graphics API. Or the specific category I'm doing is I'm using the Rust programming language and a graphics API called WGPU-RS. So Rust WGPU would be my specific category. For my first run, I decided to follow a tutorial. And hopefully by the end of this, I won't be needing any tutorial or any code example, just my brain and the documentation for the libraries that I'm using. Let's see my first attempt at the triangle speedrun. Before we start, I'm gonna create an empty project. Uh, cargo, in it, triangle. Nah, triangle, let's call it triangle. Got an empty Rust project, the main file, and we have our dependencies. There we go, okay. Uh, I'm just gonna copy, no wait, I can't copy anything. I have to write everything myself. Oh, the intelligence is kicking in. Import that, import that. Oh, I love autocomplete. Full match arms, whoa, that's a lot of stuff. Ah, I think this is it, okay. Uh, let's rebuild it. Bam! Okay, let's run it! We got a window. And uh, now... Uh, bam! Eight minutes. Got it. Got it! We're so fast. Okay, swap chain. For convenience, this tutorial creates a struct that holds all of the states. I'm gonna ignore all of that. I'm gonna ignore all of that. Oh, the main needs to be async then. Can that work? Ah, okay, let's let's follow the tutorial exactly. I'm gonna ignore all of that. State. Top function new. We're gonna have to return self. Let's construct self. And then we do all of that stuff. I got a lot of stuff to do. 
Got a lot of stuff to do. Yeah. Got a lot of stuff to do. Got a lot of stuff to do. He's got a lot of stuff to do. Why? Why? Hit the break point. Now. Now. I said. Now. 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 <gasps> Nailed it, Staders. I'm actually done with that. We got a triangle, but it's not correct. Okay. Bill, faster, cut the time. Bill, faster, cut the time. Bill, faster. Is that it? That's it. Time. Bam. Check that out. Only took me one hour and 47 minutes. That is amazing. First try. Okay, let's redo it again and again and again and again until I got this down. I took a short break and decided to do another run right away. But for this second run, I decided to not use a tutorial. I was only gonna use the documentation of the libraries I was using. It did not go as well as I hoped. It was actually slower than the first run. Programming a rendering application requires a lot of different components. We need a WGPU instance. Using the instance we can create a surface. We can request an adapter using this surface. And after that we request a device and a queue. Then we create a swatch description using the surface and the adapter. And then we create a swatch description using the device and the adapter. I think you get the point. There is a lot of steps. So this speedrun has a lot of room for error. But that can be trained away with simple repetition. The thing I struggled the most with this run was writing shader code. This is WGSL shader code, something I am not used to writing. For the second run, being super tired, almost reaching the end, but failing again and again to write this shader, I eventually took a look on the tutorial. Ah, let's just look on how I did it, the other code, okay. It's a little bit cheating, but uh, it's fine. If that's it. In the end this run was slower, but it was done without a tutorial most of the run. My brain is starting yes. to get the hang of it. I'm done. Yes. Stop the time. Bam. I hate this. Let's see how the third run went. And oh, by the way, I didn't even think about using the tutorial the third run. Here's the world's fastest triangle in the percent that I know of. <laughs> Let's go! What's up? It's 8 o'clock in the morning. Let's do another speedrun. Cargo in it. Triangle. Attempt 3. Ready? Set. Go. We're gonna do stuff. Alright! Now we can call render. Alright! Let's draw. Moment of truth. Come on, gotta go fast. Ah, mm, I missed something here. Did it. Pause the timer. Bam. Third time's the charm. 40 minutes faster at least. That's better, much better. I usually get stuck on very small things like Sometimes I just miss a semicolon, but in this case I just missed this little thing right here and that cost me like 50 minutes or so. I'm pretty confident right now that I can I can make a triangle without following a tutorial. That's something. That doesn't make me a graphical genius. I know how to make a triangle, a pretty damn beautiful triangle, so okay. I did a total of three runs. Here they are one by one. Going into this, I didn't think of the fact that programming requires a lot of brain power. After my first two runs, I was exhausted. Doing a speedrun on top of programming, you're kind of forced into the zone where you get intense focus and productivity, and that drains a lot of energy. Another factor is difficulty, and that could depend on what graphics API you're using. WGPU is very type intensive, as we have seen. I believe this run can be a lot faster if you just use pure OpenGL or maybe even DirectX. When you do a run like this, odds are you're going to make small mistakes, a missing semicolon, or maybe a tiny but critical part. I had mistakes like this in all of my runs. A tiny mistake could result in tens of minutes just trying to figure out what's the missing piece. Is it just...
If that's it. Uh, yes, I hate this. I really want to see more people attempt this challenge. Can you beat my glorious time of one hour and one minute? I'm gonna upload this run completely unedited if you want to see the reality of what it takes to do this. A link to the full video in the comments or you can click up here somewhere. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you made it this far, please consider subscribing. I got more game development content coming soon. Until then, maybe I have some other videos you can watch. Here are some examples. Tantan out.